Hi friends. So in this video, we will see some examples on Cauchy's problem. Cauchy's problem. So last video we have seen Cauchy's theorem as well as Cauchy's integral formula. So based on that, so before we today we will see only uh, based on Cauchy's theorem. Right here, verify Cauchy's theorem for the function. We have a complex function. Fifth analytic function. Now, about that equal to z square, where c is the path. C is the path, but they are given given as a square having vertices. We have one square. That means uh, that path is nothing but a square. We have vertices zero zero, then one zero, one one zero one. I am represent representing here in x y plane. Solution is here. So you have x plane and y plane, right? Here you have some points. Origin is zero zero. I'm calling it this is O, right? Then x axis. Here you have one. So one comma zero. Second point. One comma zero. So this point is A. Then one one is B. Then zero one is C. So We have a square is O A B C. Path C is the O A B C, right? So let then given C is the square O A B C, and we have by the Cauchy's theorem, Cauchy's theorem expression integration C path f of z dz equals to zero. So we need to verify this integral function. Now, so we have a function. Analytic function is z square. We have to show that that function. So we have a different different part. So integration, we have g of a one part. So a to b one part. Then b to c another part. Then finally c to o one part. We have four areas. So integration. O A Z square D Z plus integration A B Z square D Z plus integration B C Z square D Z plus integration C O Z square D Z equal to zero. I am calling this equation number one. After adding these all expressions, it should be a zero. Now you see. Now first part part O A O A is a curve. In this, I am taking y equal to zero because this is perpendicular to y-axis. This curve is perpendicular to y-axis. Here, if x is one, y is zero. So y is zero. So which curve is perpendicular? So I am taking y is zero. If we differentiate this one, so dy is zero. Then here, x is relative to me one to zero. X is relative to me. Zero to one, right? Zero to one, zero to one. I am taking zero to one. Now, z square dz equal to here we have z nothing but complex number x plus i y whole square. We have square. Dz is dx plus i dy, right? Now we have y is zero, dy is zero, zero. So here zero, zero, right? Both are this y is zero, then dy is zero, this and this will vanish. This two, because you this is zero. Only x into sorry x square into dx, x square into dx. Now integrate. You have points. X is zero to one. So you have integration o a z square d z equal to integration. Your z point is zero to one x square dx. Just I am integrating this one. After integrating, so x cube by three upper limit is one, lower limit is zero. Now substitute here, so one by three. So next lower limit is zero. Anyway, we have a zero. So I am taking this value is one by three. Equation number two. Similarly, next part A B. Next part is A B. And this curve, A B curve. In this we have this is perpendicular to x axis. Perpendicular to x axis. X axis. By what? Here you have x value is one. X value is one. So differentiate this one. So dx equal to zero. 
then what about y so y is range in between 0 to 1 0 to 1 so y is 0 to 1 now z square dz equal to same i can same expression i am getting same z is x plus i y whole square into dx plus i dy right so this here using this point x is equal to 1 so 1 1 plus i am getting same thing i y whole square dx is 0 so 0 i dy now if this is 1 plus i y whole square is equal to a plus b whole square right a plus b whole square so before that take integration both sides here integration integration i am writing here now this equal to integration a b z square dz equal to here i is constant so take i outside interval is y is 0 to 1 0 to 1 now 0 to 1 1 minus 3 a plus b whole square so 1 square is 1 plus i square into y square i square is minus 1 minus y square plus 2ab 2iy two so into dy then integrate this one so 1 with respect to y so d 1 to y of y then with respect to y so x minus y2 y3 plus 2i constant y square by 2 so these two these two get cancelled upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 subtract here after subtracting here so 1 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 2 to get cancelled i into 1 so only i so minus lower limit so here over 0 so this is 0 then multiply by i so here plus this is i right i minus or you can simplify this one right so 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3 into i is i so i into by i square i square is minus 1 so this value is 2i by 3 minus 1 so i am calling equation number 3 similarly next path here b to c b to c path right this is perpendicular to x axis the y, y axis perpendicular to y axis now take y so y is here value is 1 so y is 1 y equal to 1 now dy differentiate this one dy is 0 now x is x value is 1 to 0 x is 1 to 0 1 to 0 now integration b c z square d z equal to we have x is 1 to 0 now same thing x plus i y dx plus i dy equal to now here y is 1 so only i x plus 1 x plus i whole square here dy is 0 only dx now integrate 1 to 0 so integrate with respect to x now x square so this is x sorry first we have to split this one so x plus a plus b whole square form a square plus b square is i square is minus 1 plus 2ab 2ab into dx now integrate x cube by 3 minus x plus 2i x square by 2 so again this 2 this 2 get cancelled now replace upper limit and lower limit so upper limit is 0 this whole is 0 i am writing here minus lower limit so x is 1 so 1 by 3 minus 1 plus here i so x is 1 so 1 square is 1 so i now again 1 by 3 minus 1 is so minus 2 by 3 we have outside outside minus minus 2 minus plus right so here plus 2 minus minus i so this value is 2 by 3 minus 1 and for equation number 4 finally same next part c to 0 this part c to 0 here perpendicular to x axis perpendicular to x axis now x is 0 now x equal to 0 then differentiate this dx is 0 then y is 1 to 0 y, y value is 1 to y is 1 to 0 integration c o z square dz equal to same thing again we are following x is 0 then dx is 0 only i square y square i square is minus 1 so i am writing minus into y square into this is i into dy i am taking outside i here 
right i can integrate now minus y cube by 3 right then i into i so here upper limit is 0 anyway this is 0 then minus lower limit minus to minus plus 1 by 3 so i by 3 so this value is i by 3 i'm calling equation number 5 so now it is over all the square parts right now adding the equation all the parts equation 2 plus equation 3 plus 4 plus 5 these after adding equal to 0 now integration this is first part oa ob bc and cu equal to 0 this is equation number 2 is 1 by 3 equation number 3 2i by 3 minus 1 this part equation number 4 2 by 3 minus i plus this is last equation 5 equation i by 3 now here 1 by 3 minus 1 is minus 2 by 3 so minus 2 by 3 and this get cancelled now 2i by 3 right minus i is so minus minus i by 3 minus i by 3 so this get cancelled now equal to 0 right followed now this is nothing but 1 by 3 minus 1 nothing but these two equal to minus 2 by 3 else and 3 you multiply by minus 2 by 3 this minus 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 these get cancelled the remaining same thing 2i by 3 minus i 2i by 3 minus i is again here minus i by 3 this i by 3 and this plus i by 3 so equal to this is the required result to verify the cot is theorem verify the cot is theorem integration c f of z dz equal to 0 similarly this are the same examples verify cot is theorem for the function here are some different function f of z equal to z into e raised to minus z over the unit circle we have this function is over the unit circle with origin as the center origin as the center but previous example having a we have a square path but here they are given a circle they are given in the circle nothing but mod of z is 1 they are given origin is the center if it is origin is the center we will take mod of z is 1 now solution we have to evaluate integration this is f of z this into dz they are given origin center so mod of z is equal to a if you have a center is a if a is 0 automatically this is 1 this is 1 right then now if z is mod of z is 1 what about if, if it is circle we have a polar coordinate points of the a complex z equal to e raised to i theta right this is, we know that so if it is circle theta is i into in 0 to 2 pi now dz is i into e raised to i theta d theta now using this one integration c z e raised to minus z dz equal to theta is 0 to 2 pi e raised to i theta this is z right into e raised to minus z z is e raised to i theta e raised to minus e raised to i theta into dz dz nothing but this i e raised to i theta t now here i is constant i am taking outside here the remaining is e raised to i theta into e raised to i theta is e raised to 2 i theta into remaining this part e raised to e raised to minus e raised to i theta to t theta now here i am taking in this place right e raised to i theta is t just i am substituting e raised to i theta is t now if it is e raised to i theta is t then i differentiate this one theta as well as t i e raised to i theta dt theta plus equal to dt or d theta equal to transform this this is nothing but a theta so t this is nothing but a t so i t d theta is d t t by i t now so change the limits so when theta equal to 0 now replace here with here theta equal to 0 t is 1 and 
t equal to pi by 2 pi by, by 2 pi then e raised to i 2 pi nothing but cos 2 pi plus i sin 2 pi so state like this so you know the value of 2 pi is 1 so this is 0 the value is t is 1 so both this is 1 both are 1 1 so integration is z e raised to minus z dz equal to i into integration both are same t equal to 1 to 1 1 to 1 so t square into e raised to minus t dt by t so here 1 t get cancel i i get cancel remaining is t into e raised to minus t dt so here you have a t is equal to same limit right if it is same limit so this integral should be a zero because both the limits are same they are same the limit zero not the thus integration c z e raised to minus z dz equal to zero which is the required solution of a given example verify the or this